Hello mga kapatid, this is Pastor Don again from Maranatha Jesus is Coming International and we are now live in our uh, online by uh, Sunday service um, and uh, I am in London and we have uh, people in Italy, our kapatirans in Italy uh, led by Pastor Saldi and Sister Madelon, uh, Sister Marisa is there and Sister Sarah is there as well and their families we also have uh, Pastora Madili ng Qatar, ng Doha, Qatar, and, and her family. And sino pa mga kapatid? Meron tayong mga taga, of course, taga London. We have uh, brethren in London. Mga kapatid, let us pray first and let us start inviting the Holy Spirit. Panginoon, marami pong salamat. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity. We thank you, Lord, for the people who made this event, this meeting, uh, a, a possibility. And Lord, thank you for the privilege um, to study your word. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing. Thank you for the protection that you are giving unto us despite of the coronavirus pandemic. But Lord, we are still alive and we are still able to worship and glorify your name. Nothing can take us from the love of Christ. Panginoon, mananatili po ang aming pag-ibig, ang aming pananalig at pagmamahal Sa gawain mo, Panginoon. Pagpalaan po ang aking mga kapatid. Bless them, O Lord, wherever they are right now, in any parts of the world, Panginoon. Bless our leaders. Bless our pastors, Lord. Bless our church, our family. Bless our employers, our businesses, Panginoon, Lord. Bless everything that our hands will touch. Lord, pagpalaan mo po ang lahat ng hahawakan ng aming mga kamay. Ikaw ay Diyos, Panginoon, na gumagawa ng mga dakilang bagay, Panginoon, Lord. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon. Ingatan mo kami. And Lord, as we study your word, speak unto us. May you be our speaker, Panginoon. Cleanse us, Panginoon. Linisin mo kami, mold us, and change us. Change our hearts to glorify and, and, and magnify the name of Jesus Christ. Ikaw lamang ang mataas, Panginoon, sa araw na ito. Gawin mo lamang akong tagapagsalita ng iyong mga mensahe. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Ibinabalik ko ang lahat ng kapurihan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen mga kapatid, tayo ay live Mga kapatid, I would like to The word of the Lord that God gave me today The word of the Lord that God gave me today Is about something different And mga kapatid, you have to Bear with me Because this is something that We have to um, Remember We have to understand We have to take note Because I believe that what's happening now, mga kapatid, this is not something. This is not something that, uh, that is just happening now. What's happening now, mga kapatid, this corona pandemic? And I think God has gave me this kind of revelation. This pandemic, mga kapatid, this is like... This is, these are all scripted. Everything that's happening now in the world These are all plans These are all planned And discussed Agreed This is not just Something that have That has occurred On its own So we have to be ready The first advice mga kapatid While we are all Mainly most of us are Based abroad and I would like to tell you this, mga kapatid. Start to love your job. Don't spend too much. Love our families. The time has already come. And all the prophecy in the Bible, all the prophecy in the Bible, most of them I have been reading, most of them have already occurred. The volcanic eruption, the famine, yung kagutom, this corona pandemic. As we are faced with our current financial problems and this worldwide crisis, our position, mga kapatid, our position of fear and weakness must not be, because maraming tao ang natatakot, 
We must not be in the position of fear and weakness. Everybody's asking when this pandemic will end. Everybody's asking how will it end? Because even though it ends, we are uncertain. But the, the word of the Lord is giving us now, and I want to tell you that the message from God today is for us to have faith ang ating pananampalataya and we must have the power from the Lord. In Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1 to 3, we have a God's directive. You see, when God has a directive, it's a command. It's not something like we are told to be pleased or request. God is commanding us. God is having a directive, isang direktiba. God is telling us, fear not. Do not be afraid. It does not matter what we face, now or in the future, you should never be fearful. Hindi dapat tayo matakot, mga kapatid. Hindi kailangan tayo dapat magkaroon ng takot. Bakit? But because God is giving His word, God is reassuring us. God said in Isaiah 43 verse 1, I have redeemed you. God has redeemed you. Tinubos ka ng Diyos. Ibig sabihin, if you are in a pawn shop, si Buana Luillier, for example, your soul was was pawned, isinanglak, sa si Buana Luillier pawn shop. But the owner of the life of the soul, who is Jesus Christ, went to si Buana Luillier and redeemed you. He paid the price to redeem you from the pawn shop. I think Sister Linda worked in a pawn shop. And God said, I have called you by your name. Jesus knows your name. And Jesus said in Isaiah 43 verse 1, You are mine. Ikaw ay para sa Diyos. Amen mga kapatid? You always remember that we are the ownership. We are the possession of God. And you are a child of God. Ikaw ay anak ng Diyos. He knows your name, everything about you, and what you are going through. Lahat ng pinagdaraanan natin, mga kapatid, alam ng Diyos ang nangyayari sa ating buhay. Siya ay Diyos na marunong at matalino. He is not surprised by anything that's going on. When we are faced with circumstances that, seems, that seem to overwhelm, because these things are overwhelming, Many, many people in the world are scared because of uncertainty. It's overwhelming. Many companies now are filing bankruptcies. In the United States of America now, I heard that there were like 36 million unemployed people. Could you imagine? 36 million have filed unemployment. This kind of rate has never occurred in the entire history of the United States of America. And I believe that this uncertainty will affect the entire globe. Kaya mga kapatid, wag din tayong kasi sigurado sa ating hanap buhay. Do not put your trust and confidence to our jobs, to our businesses, because in a glimpse of an eye, in a click of a finger, life would take this away from us, just like Job. But the word of the Lord is telling us, in Isaiah 43 verse 2, God said, I will be with you. That is the promise that God is giving us today. The word of the Lord, I will be with you. I will be with you until the end of time. Until the end of the world. Not only God has made that promise. Hindi lang ibinigay ng Diyos ang promesa na yon, ang pangakong yon. But God has said that you will not be harmed. He will make you victorious, mga kapatid. He will make you victorious. Despite of this pandemic. But God is there. He knows what's going on. The time has already come. The worldwide financial crisis will be so bad, mga kapatid. What's going on? 
now and this is the revelation of the Lord many prophets many giant Christians have already agreed that the end is very near malapit na ang wakas ng daigdig mga kapatid the end of the world is near the famine will cover the earth Magkakaroon ng tagutom. Magkakaroon ng sobrang kahirapan sa buong daigdig. In Revelation chapter 6 verse 5 to 6, we have been giving, given a warning of the end time. The time, the end is near. Financial judgment will come upon the world. Dumarating na ang judgment, ang, pangha, ang paghatol patungkol sa pananalapi. In the Philippines, we have Ayuda. In the United Kingdom, I'm not sure about Italy. In, in the UK, if an, employ, if an employee or a self-employed uh, person has lost his job because of the corona pandemic, they are entitled to claim some sort of support financially. But the question is, even the United Kingdom, which is considered as one of the G7, one of the richest countries in the world, they are only allowed to give at least three months. And when I was reading the news yesterday, some of the medical experts advisors of the Prime Minister of uh, Boris Johnson was saying that there may be another some sort of second lockdown. Mga kapatid, ayoko nang ganito eh. I don't want to be a preacher of negativity. I don't want to be a preacher of fear. Because I'm a man of faith. But at the same time, as 